it's just very hard to hear, you know, getting phone calls saying, oh, so-and-so died last weekend. Um, it just affects you on all levels. Killings, homicides, suicides, and mental health is a pandemic in itself. Well, the city's killings are weighing heavily on the hearts and minds of Indy's youth. The Indianapolis Youth Commission is challenging all adults, specifically those with platforms and power, to help drive down the violence. The city is preparing to pour tens of millions of dollars into public safety thanks to federal funding. First, it must get full approval from the City County Council. CBS 4's Courtney Crown joins us now. And Courtney, what did these young people tell you tonight? Well, Debbie, they don't want people to be merely shocked by the violence. This is their call to action to do something to support young people. Members of the Indianapolis Commission on Youth invest themselves in the city's present and future. The news of five people killed within 13 hours earlier this week pains them. It's hard to stay focused on what's going on around you when everyone's dying or being killed. And honestly, it plays a role in your emotional stability, how well you can manage your emotions and how much tolerance and pay tolerance you have. At least 73 people of this year's 191 total victims are age 25 or younger. The diverse group of eight young people from six different indie zip codes says the focus must stay on a plan to curb the violence, not stop at shock over the numbers. We need people to stop acting like they don't know. We need people to start like forcing themselves to help us to actually fix. Like, there is, there is, we have, we have solutions. They say helping youth can look like volunteering your time. The commission says a few hours is impactful and people in power could organize more outlets for youth. We should involve kids more in more after school programs, help kids with jobs. Thanks to money from the American Rescue Plan, roughly $133.5 million is proposed for attacking root causes of crime in Indy, like mental illness, the need for reentry services, and hunger. The young leaders say communication among all community members, regardless of race and age, is priceless and must be a priority. We need to communicate. If you don't communicate, how are you going to expect something to change? If needed, the Youth Commission wants to help families find support for their kids. We have their contact information on our website, cbs4indy.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.